Hey guys, guess what I just received? A DJI wireless microphone. I did purchase this myself just to be transparent. I wanted an awesome microphone. I, was, I had some of the cheap ones, but I wanted to get into a better quality audio, and I think this is going to do it. I'm going to do a quick unboxing, and I'm going to show you a little bit about the features and benefits and the big mistake I made using it on my iPhone. So stay tuned, watch the whole video, and I appreciate your time. Let's get to the review. Okay guys, welcome back to my channel. And yes, I did pick up the DJI wireless microphone. So if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that button. I really do appreciate that. So this is all about the DJI microphone. So in the past, I've been using a lot of inexpensive microphones and a lot of inexpensive ones like this one here. Very cheap, very much, you know, basically plug and play. And they do work, but there's not a lot of control and a lot, not a lot of flexibility with, with the use. Basically, you plug it in and there's a couple of different features and benefits, but I wanted something a little bit better quality. So I went ahead, and everyone's talking about this DJI microphone. Um, the, the drones are awesome, of course, um, but I wanted to get into the microphone. I wanted to get to the higher quality microphone, so this is what I did buy. So let's, this is what I did buy. Let's open this up, do a quick unboxing. And it's a really no-frills um, unboxing. It's not much in here besides the actual microphone and a couple of small accessories. So what's in here? So this is the accessory pack. I'm in a really cool pouch. This is a travel pouch, so if you're on the road traveling, you can use this pouch to add store your, your microphone in. And let's just dump this out. Let's see what's in here. What we have is, okay, so here's the bag. We'll put that to the side. We have a couple of uh, dead cats um, with these pop on the microphones. Really easy to use, nice quality. Um, if you're using them indoors, you don't really need it. Uh, but if you are outdoors, if you are outdoors, definitely recommend, especially if it's windy out. It does come with a USB-C charger, as you can see here, USB on one side and USB-C on the other, which charges the unit. And it does give you a quarter inch jack which is actually, I have to tell you, very heavy duty quality stuff. So they're, they're, nothing is cheaply made. Everything is really high quality. So this would be plug into your DSLR. This would plug into your GoPro. Um, pretty much anything you want to plug into. If you want to plug into a main board, you can get an adapter for this and then XLR it right into it. You can do reviews. You can do talking heads. You can do podcasting with this. There's a lot of flexibility. Um, does come with a little instruction manual which is pretty easy, um, and it's basically plug and play, so it really is. So I did play with this a little bit, I just wanted to put it back in just to show you how the unboxing experience would be like, and it's pretty much a no frills, it's just, this is the package right here. Uh, you open it up, basically I already charged it up, and what happens when you open it, they'll automatically start syncing. Uh, and you can see here, 100% everything is full, they're already synced, it tells you right here how many hours of recording are on each microphone, so you can record on these, on these microphones, which is fantastic. Tons of recording time. Uh, so you can have a backup recording as well as in to transmit into your into whatever your project you're working on. Like I said, uh, so I just want to go over a couple of specs with you. It's five hours of use on the receiver and five and a half hours of use on the transmitter. So that's how much time you get before you have to recharge it. Again, this is a rechargeable block. Uh, it's fully charged now. So you can get tons and tons of time on this. I mean, really, it's a lot, a lot of use. So that's really no problem whatsoever. And what's cool about the backup recording is up to 14 hours of backups. You can actually have a little um, microchip inside, a little uh, SD card or memory card, whatever. And it basically will record up to 14 hours on this, which is really kind of cool if you think about that, right? So right now it says it's 15.1 hours on here. It's what it says it's available. Um, and it's just that easy to use. You just, and it tells you how much time you have, really easy to transfer. Everything is super simple. So as you can see, there is a ton of flexibility and just that's one thing you just don't get with the two microphones. You get all the awesome um, time, you get all the, whatever you need for backup. I think the backup is like the most important thing. So let's take a, take a look at the transmitter. The transmitter is very small and you can see here, actually the meters are moving. That means these are already recording. So that's just how fast it is to connect. They have um, all kinds of information on here. You got one channel, two channels. You can go stereo, you can do mono. There's so many different features on this. It has three different adapters that come in the kit here. Uh, so this is a dead uh, dead cat or a cold shoe. This is a cold shoe. So if you want to hook this up to your your microphone uh, on your on your GoPro or something, this is that that's what this is for. Easy enough to use. You just slide it right on, and you can hook it up to your GoPro or whatever. That's it in the kit, which is nice. They give you that, which is really, really nice. I like that. Uh, they give you USB-C, which does work. I checked it out with my, I don't have an iPhone 15, but I checked it out with my new iPad and that worked perfectly. And of course they have the, the lightning cable, which is super simple to install. All you have to do to install it is just make sure you follow the arrows, which is really easy. You just slide it right into the arrows and that connects it just like that. Super easy to use. So you can see here, I'll pull one out and you can see it is connecting to this microphone. I'll close this one up. 
and right away it's just going to pop in it'll this disconnect um, disregard that one now there's only one coming on as you can see here so i'm talking on this microphone right here and it's recording just the one microphone just like that so let's go down a couple of a couple of menus we have mono of course click on the mono you can do mono s is like a safe mode so the two different channels so you can have a safe mode which is nice uh, so I have a little bit lower dB on that one. Uh, you have stereo, left and right, and then you can just change that to right and left. So that's super easy. Back to the main menu, you just slide back up again, move right down the line. This is the receiver gain. So the receiver gain, you can control the receiver gain up and down really with your finger. So you can see here, that's super easy. Move up. Okay. You got the headphone volume right here. You click on that. Tap, tap. Come on. Let's go. And you can see you can adjust the headphone volume because this doesn't have a headphone jack as you can see here so i probably didn't tell you that of course i'm sorry headphone jack and has an audio out that goes out to your camera so that's the audio out to the camera here's the headphone jack um power button and the USB C to charge this and this also has a USB C to charge there's just so much to talk about with this stuff so each one of these devices can be charged individually in the case on the road doesn't really matter has a ton a ton of options so i'll bring that back here let's go through the menu one more time here so we got the transmitter settings Okay, you have low cut, you have uh, transmitter gain, you can adjust the transmitter gain, uh, recording, you can adjust the recording, stop the recording, start the recording by here. You have uh, auto record, so you can automatically record on the, uh, automatically on the, on the device. Vibration, you can shut the vibration on and off. You can shut the lights on and off. There's just a, there's a ton of stuff here. Uh, also the LCD uh, brightness, you can adjust the brightness on that, low, high, and off. So off means basically you don't see it on here. You can see that, put on low and also high. You can see it right there. So if you don't want the talent to have their light on, you can shut it off so it won't distract on, you know, so it won't just like stick it on like a sore thumb. It does have a magnet. <clears throat> on the back here, and a very, very strong magnet, by the way. So you can pop this under your, under your clothes um, and just pop the magnet on, um, and that's for, for your talent, that's easy enough, or the clip, which is a nice, super strong clip on that, which is really nice, I like that, and that works really well. Again, awesome, awesome. Really, really very, very happy with the quality of this item. Uh, and there's not a ton, of, a ton of other things. It's really super simple. That's pretty much all there is on the menus. Um, and um, one thing happened to me, and it might happen to you, I don't know, is that if you get into an issue with um, resetting it when you first get it, mine was, in, mine was in Chinese. I don't know why if something happened. So I had to go reset it. I'll show you that in a setting in a second. So the last thing is settings. You go to settings, you have brightness. Again, we went all through all that. Linking device, if it's not linked, you can actually manually link it. So, so sometimes maybe it got de-linked somehow. Easy enough to do. You just hit that menu and then you can hit link. And that's easy enough. Uh, the next is the brightness. We talked about that, the brightness. This here is the language, okay? Uh, and mine was, like I said, it was in Chinese, which was really weird. So I had to reset it di day and time, which is cool. And refactor reset. So if you find yours in another language, just hit factory reset. It resets it automatically to English and go right from there. And that easily fixes that problem. Uh, the version, which one you're running and compliance information. So version is basically your version for your firmware, which is, this is brand new. So the version, the uh, software is all up to date. And that's pretty much all there is for that. So that, that's, it's really simple. I mean, you can really deep dive into this and just, so the, basically it just, it's just an awesome, awesome microphone. And all the way this little dead cat just pops on. Easy enough to access it. Just, just, just basically screw it in and you just line it up, twist it, and that's it. So that's easy enough to, um, to install in one second. So stay with me to the end and you'll hear how this sounds. Uh, right now I'm recording this on my GoPro and no uh, no wireless microphone at all. I'm using, I have a um, media mod that has a microphone in the back of it. So I'm talking right into it. So that's why the audio is probably pretty clear here. But if you're on the road and you're outside, you definitely need my wireless microphone, super important. So when you put this in and they're really hard to push in, just so you know. Uh, so don't be afraid to push it. You think you might break it. It's not, you gotta really push it and you gotta push it all the way in. Very important. You're not gonna break it. This is pretty strong stuff. And what it does, and I didn't know this. So what it does, as soon as you hook it up to um, the lightning cable and you plug it in your phone, it automatically, man, it just automatically goes into mode. And so and hopefully you can see it says M. So there's no stereo options for your iPhone. You can't do multiple channels. It's just one channel, one channel. Um, it's, it's just manual. It'll do two audio. It'll do two audios. It'll so you can do two. As you can see, I have two automatically running right away. Hopefully, you can see that. Uh, so it'll pick up both channels, but only in mono. Basically, that's what it's doing. But that's the only. That's the only. I mean, maybe they'll fix that eventually. But that's the only issue. You can't have a stereo. You can't 
really control a lot of it. It's pretty much mono and that's it, but it, which is fine. Um, and the other big mistake I made, just to let you know, I uh, was recording on it and I went to go play back a video and I heard nothing. And I'm saying, why aren't I hearing anything on my phone? Well, the problem was some of the, the cheap ones bypass a lot of the, the audio and visual, uh, like, uh, like a headphone jack, right? So when I went to play it back, I thought this was a headphone jack and I had no audio and I thought it was not working, but it was working. It was really, I had to unplug it. And I'm not sure if there's a workaround for that. If someone knows, leave a comment down below, let me know. Um, and it wasn't working. I was like, what is going on here? So, um, so when, when, when they go play it back, I disconnected it, played it back, and boom, there was the audio. So that was a, that was just a little mistake I made, and hopefully, I didn't see, I couldn't find it anywhere. I had to figure it out myself, so that was one thing. So if you're running into that, it's not the device, unplug it. It thinks it's a headphone jack, I don't know, uh, and that's what it was doing. All right, let's plug this into my phone. If you're enjoying my content, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. It means a lot to me. Oh, one more thing. When you put the adapter on, right, which is really, a, I'll tell you, DJI really thought this out. I have to give them a lot of props for this. You don't have to take this off. It just slides right in with that device right there. Either that or the USB. See, it doesn't really matter. So it slides in. That's a great, thing. and it automatically charges. Now that is cool. Push that in, make sure everything's tight, and you're good to go. A good, heavy, beefy case, not cheaply made whatsoever. You're going to get many, many hours of this. Um, and the backup audio was fantastic. All right, so I hope I went over that briefly with you. I just want to give you an oversight, pretty much what the features and benefits were, uh, the problem I ran into with my phone. Now let's plug this into my phone, and I want you to hear the audio, how it sounds. Okay, guys, so I'm at Cutaway now. I am on my phone. Let's take this out right here. Pop this over here. Get this, put this back. And I'm going to pop this on my phone, and you're going to see... Again, hooked up automatically to the transmitters, and let's pop it right in here. One second. Okay, guys, right now I am talking to you on the microphone. I just took it out of the uh, package just now, and it is hooked up to my phone directly. I'm going to put it under my lapel, on the, on the, right under, under my shirt right here. I clipped it onto my shirt. So right now I'm talking to you on my, uh, basically on the DJI microphone on my phone. This is it. I plugged that right in. That's plug and play, like I said. Super simple, and it's working beautiful. I have around 5 dB up, up gain a little bit. I turn the gain up just a little bit, so in post-production, I can just work with it better, um, and I'm actually shooting this on my iPhone. So right now, I'm on my iPhone. Before, it was my GoPro. This is on the iPhone with the DJI. How does it sound? I'm going to take out the other one here. I'm going to pop this out, and you're going to see. Now, there's two of them running. So now, we got two. So this is the one I just took out of the case. You can see here. You can hear that, right? And right now I'm just talking to you on the other one on my on my uh, shirt. So you can put this on the uh, talent, pop it on their shirt, and you can have an instant conversation. Uh, you can use it as a podcast. There's a, there's a stand they have for it. You can use it as a podcast. And yeah, I'm talking on this one up high. I'm talking on the one below. And you can see how awesome this is. Let's put this back into the case. And it's just that easy. So what do you think? How does it sound to you? Thanks for tuning in to your review channel. We're looking at this awesome rechargeable mic from DJI. If you love DJI products, I think you're gonna love this one as well. What do you think? How does that sound? I think it sounds pretty good. It's pretty clean, uh, right up there with the quality. I, again, this has a huge distance. I mean, you really far. And also don't forget it has backup recording on the microphone itself. And very, very, very easy to access. To so turn on the, the uh, microphone, let me just show you right here, the recording. And you can see here, so to turn on the record button, so if you wanna return on the, the actual recorder on the microphone, just tap the bottom where it says mic, Tap it once, and you're gonna see the green light is on, I mean the red light is on, and now it's recording on the microphone and in my phone at the exact same time. So now I have the backup audio. It gives you the indication right here, so it's super easy to use. As you can see here, I'm actually talking to you on my lapel, and I'm actually showing you this one here. So that's kind of cool how you can do that. Shut that off, just tap it again. We get the vibration feedback, and it's now off. And I'm recording, now the recording's off. So it's just that simple. Tap it once, recording is on, tap it again, Recording is off. Um, a long hold will put it on mute. So just so many different features. All right, so let's put this back in here. Close that up. And that's what I have for you. So that's what I have. So I hope you enjoyed that review. I hope it wasn't too long. I just want to give you some features and benefits about this microphone. I know there's a lot of videos out there about this, um, but I wanted to just give you my version. I wanted you to hear it on me, and I wanted you to see how I did the presentation. I think it's fantastic. I absolutely love it. And um, let me know, leave some comments down below if you're enjoying the DJI and what you think about it and what you dislike, like and dislikes. That's what the, this uh, channel is all about. It's a shopping channel as well as an informational channel and education is so important to you to make the right choice for your video and audio needs. And that's why I do all this. So I appreciate your time as always and I'll see you at the next review.